everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a vlog. It's currently 1 p.m. I'm starting it off pretty late in the day because I have had quite the eventful weekend. Let me tell you about it. So on Friday, my school had this big event so we didn't have any classes, but I went in in the morning for picture day. Got my picture taken. It looks, hold on, my phone's ringing. <laughs> it was Papa. So got my picture taken and the photographer did not tell me when she was taking the picture. She's like, okay, stand in this blue line, take off your mask. And she didn't say like one, two, three, none of that, just took the picture. She's like, okay, here's your ID is gonna be printed now. So it looks like a mug shot because I was not ready. But that night I helped host the event or I worked at the event for my school and I went to dinner at CPK. After, hi, come here. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> oh, you just want some loving. <laughs> Go get sissy. Anyway, I got CPK with some of my friends from my new school and we went to brunch the next morning. I got the best Aussie bowl. Saturday night, I went to my friend Hannah's house and got together with a bunch of friends from my old school. We haven't all been together in a while, so that was really fun to get to see them. We all caught up and last minute, Hannah's dad was able to get a Duffy boat. So we went out on the boat. That was so fun. We ate pizza. I didn't take very many pictures. I think I have like one or two videos of us. It was seriously the best time. We came back to her house, watched a movie, made pizookies. Oh my gosh. I literally ate like two and a half pizookies. It was amazing. Went to bed, woke up, said bye to all of my friends, came back here, took a shower, posted my video, got ready, and now we're here. You are all caught up. That is what my weekends look like. We See, I'm pretty exhausted. Oh, and I also completely shattered my phone screen because I dropped it on the boat dock. Thank God it didn't go in the water, oh my gosh. My loop fell off and I've been dropping my phone ever since and I was like, you know what, if I don't order a new one, it's gonna crack soon. Didn't order a new one and it freaking cracked. The screen mostly works except for this part down here, but this just means I'm even closer to getting a new phone. I wanted to wait for the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 12, but I might get the 11. I don't know, we'll see. Also, my screen is nasty, it really needs to be cleaned. So like I said, you're all caught up now. And today's video is just gonna be me. Wow, somebody wants to be fed. Today's video is gonna be me taking you along my day and preparing for the week. I have a list of stuff to do. I'm gonna go read that in just a second. And I wanna be in bed tonight by like nine or 10 o'clock. So I get lots of sleep. Watch this. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, so obnoxious. Okay, cut myself some oranges, put in this bougie little bowl. Delicious. Before we go to the grocery store in a second, I wanna show you guys the kitchen. I said I was gonna wait till the house tour to reveal this and show it to you guys, but our couch is delayed once more and will not be here till October 22nd. So I wanna show you guys a little overview because you'll probably be seeing it in my vlogs anyway. The bar stools are from Amazon. That tile's from Walker Zanger. And I'll go more into depth with where things are and where everything is from in the house tour video. Okay, I'm gonna go drop off Ali at Cheer, so I'll explain what's going on in the car. All right, we just dropped off Alessandra at Cheer. And our next stop, sorry, my hair's looking a little crazy, is Target. We're gonna grab some stuff there and then go to Trader Joe's to get groceries. And the rest of the day, I'm going to prep all my lunches for the week, put away my laundry, study, watch some driving behind the wheel test videos for California because I really need to get in the habit of that. I have to make sure I know how to turn on all the windshield wipers and defrosters and do all that kind of stuff. My uncle's coming in town tonight to see our house and we're gonna have dinner and then I'm gonna try to go to bed early tonight. So that's the rest of today, mom. So beautiful. Oh, thank you. First stop, food. Delicious. <laughs> Off we go to Trader Joe's. Oh really, Allison? Did she leave her apple in there? Oh, that is that's so nasty. nasty. Okay. Really? That's gross. All right, we made it out of Trader Joe's alive and I'm eating these already, I can't help myself. These are the dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. My dad and my sister tried them. They thought they were disgusting, but I think these are so good. They're like peanut butter cups, but with sunflower seed butter, I just love Trader Joe's. <laughs> so after quite the eventful erranding, errand run, what do you call that? Running errands. After quite the eventful time running errands, we are done, we're on our way back. It's now 4.19 p.m. I was gonna give you guys a haul, but 
we'll see if I can make that happen or not. We got our dinners planned out for the week, everything, and my mom had to actually contemplate. She was freaking out in the store, stressed out about there being a lot of people and us not getting out of there quickly. I said, well, mom, what would stress you out the least? You driving or me driving? Fully expecting to hear, oh, you're not driving. She actually had to contemplate it for like a solid 10 minutes. What would stress her out more? Which means that my driving has gotten better. Yes, it has. That's the update. Talk to you soon. Okay, my uncle is here and he brought us a housewarming gift. My uncle and his girlfriend just left, so I'll show you guys the stuff that we got. We have some artichokes. Got literally three bags of carrots because we love carrots. We already had this lettuce. I designated this for the fruits and vegetables. Bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, cucumber, some of this fresh cut fruit for lunches, apples, blueberries. This is funny, my mom and I are obsessed with these. We eat these every breakfast, almost. I'm not even kidding, ever since school started all of last week, every single morning. I ate a perfect bar for breakfast with fruit. These are so good and we literally got eight of them. Sounds a little crazy, but they're the best. Some salads, this is the Pasadena salad. My mom likes this. I love these chicken Caesar salads. Love this sprouted wheat, bread, eggs. We have quite a bit of meat for dinners. Ground turkey, cream cheese, Mediterranean style hummus. My mom got these pumpkin spice bagels. Apple smoked bacon is delicious. Some ribeye for pot roast. This lemon rosemary chicken is the freaking bomb. We have some frozen fruits and vegetables. This sweet corn I literally eat frozen. I think it's so good. Frozen strawberries, peas, and this very medley mix. For smoothies, Aussie bowls. These hash browns, I ate these all the time when I was really little, so I love them. We're not gonna talk about these. I ate the last box in one sitting. And then more of these that I froze last time we went to Trader Joe's because they were going bad. It's jasmine rice is the bomb. We also got this autumn harvest soup to try. Teriyaki seaweed, bananas, hamburger buns, craisins, gluten-free brownie mix, apple cider, brown rice pasta, and rice cakes. I got these at Target from Quaker. They are my favorite. That was the haul I'm sure I missed. Oh, yep. I was saying I'm sure I missed a couple things, AKA the pineapple, but I just finished putting together the snacks for my lunches this week. I only have four days of school because we have online day on Friday and I pack the same dry goods snacks in every single one and then I have different main meals and then I pack a fruit and a vegetable depending on what my meal is. So for example, tomorrow I'm having a salad. So I'll just pack fruit with that. Tuesday, I'm gonna have the leftover chicken that my mom makes for dinner with rice and broccoli and there's already broccoli in there, which is a vegetable, so. A pack of fruit, you know what I mean. Anyway, in here I have a rice cake, seaweed, and this trail mix, which is like a little treat to me because it has the peanut butter chocolate chips, M&Ms, the best trail mix ever because it's literally candy. So that's my little lunch situation. I realize this is a lot of plastic. By the way, they're asking us to bring lunches in paper bags because of COVID. They don't want to have people going home and whatever else with lunches. And like I was saying, I realize this is a lot of plastic, so I'm gonna try to use reusable bags, but we have so many of these in here, so I'm just gonna try to use up the rest of that. Anyway, I need to put these in the pantry and then I will figure out what I need to get done next. Next thing on my list is to get my room cleaned up and get my laundry put away. I have my clothes for school this week all set out and ready to go, but I need to organize my books over there, get my bed in order and fix this whole situation. Okay, really quick before I start cleaning, I wanna show you guys this podcast. It's called Happy and Healthy with Janine Amapola. Sorry about the cracked screen if that makes it hard to see, but she talks about like taboo topics in the church and I really love her perspective. I also have been listening to, of course, this one, What We Said, podcast, As For Me In My House. What else? Unfiltered Faith is a really good one. It's Meredith Foster's podcast. But for now, I'm going to catch up on this one. Dinner is served. We have <clears throat> cornbread and the autumn harvest soup from Trader Joe's. It's so good. And football. Freaking gourmet. Yay. Right here. Okay, my bed is unmade. 
ready for me to go to bed in just a little bit. It's currently 8.15 and my plan for the next little bit is to finish my math homework and then get in bed and study from my Quizlet. So I'm going to do that and if I use my little sleepy time calculator, I'll show you guys. It looks like that. It's the one with the cloud and the moon. This is not sponsored. I just love this app. You can input the time you're going to bed or the time you're going to wake up and it will tell you when to wake up or when to go to sleep. So I want to wake up at 6 a.m. so I can work out tomorrow, make myself a good breakfast, get my lunch ready all that in time to leave at 7 30 so if i just input that it tells me what time i should go to bed in order to get the right amount of sleep cycles or time so i don't feel groggy when i wake up in the morning so i'm not waking up in the middle of a sleep cycle and it says i need to go to bed at 10 16 p.m so that'll work out perfectly it'll probably take me like 40 minutes to finish my math and then I can get ready for bed, get in bed, and study. So that's the plan. We'll see what I can get done. I'm also going to light this candle I got at Target the other day. Just threw that. It's called Cinnamon Pumpkin Muffin, and it smells like it was sent from God himself. I need to get a lighter. There we go. I'm also gonna make some tea. I drink this almost every night. And then sometimes I put this collagen from Vital Proteins in the water. It's tasteless, so I don't taste a thing, but it has like almost 20 grams of protein in it, which is amazing.